Hey guys, this is Steven from uh, The Green Engineers and uh, welcome to my update video. Today is 5-17-19, uh, it's about 9.40 p.m. So uh, I want to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on. So um, I just graduated, I just uh, finished my degree, uh, Bachelor of Science at uh, San Jose State University yesterday, 5-16-19, I uh, finished my finals on that day. Uh, my official graduation is the 24th, which is a week from today, which is Friday at uh, 3.30. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about an update of what's going to be happening on the Green Engineers and what uh, to be looking for. So let's make this a standard uh, or even less of an, a shorter update video talking a little bit about what's going to happen. So, um... Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get started, and let's do 11 and a quarter minute video or less. So obviously uh, we have the four main products, uh, again, still obviously continuing. We have the multi-shooter, get those done and out and put that into open source, um, and then work on that every once in a while. Then we have the fill factory, which I'm going to put on hold. I did build a test stand that I showed you guys updated video. Uh, I'm going to show you guys more video of that guy and it working. Uh, that's going to super help for the multi-shooter because I'm running the multi-shooter winder on there and kind of the multi-shooter spooler. So that's working really, really well. And I will show you guys that in a later video. So um, to have the fill factory, I have the test stand. So over time, I'm going to uh, be fixing that. But I have other, uh, other machines that I want to start uh, producing. Oh, another thing is uh, we have Maker Faire this weekend. We're going tomorrow. Today's Friday. So it started today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it started the 17th, which is today, 18th, 19th. Obviously, I haven't got a call. I didn't get a call back about uh, producing, about uh, uh, showing there. Uh, so that's big, unfortunate. And now there's starting to be whispers of issues of having uh, financial problems of the every time that they display there, the San Mateo uh, Convention Center is asking for more and more money, but there's still the same number of people that are showing up. So they're they're struggling to uh, to continue to continue the show. So I don't know if they'll be making uh, another show. Hopefully they um, hopefully they're able to uh, uh, figure that out and uh, be able to uh, move on to maybe even a different location, but as long as they keep it in the Bay Area here, I think uh, we'll be in good shape. Even if they move it to San Francisco or somebody donates a space, because another big one is they have the Pleasanton Fairgrounds, which they do the Good Guys Car Show, which I'm a big Good Guys fan, so they could do it there as well. So we'll be going there tomorrow, and I might shoot some video. We'll have to see. So, uh, again, multi-shooter, uh, getting those out to people I owe those to. Um, the, the fill factory, that's going to be kind of on hold uh, development still. Um, start producing the, uh, sh the shredder, the reclaimer, and also uh, start getting the tools for, the, um, the, for doing some R&D to uh, finish the EcoBase 3D printer. So... Uh, for that, I need a laser. So speaking of machines, so the the shop is still in questionable, um, questionable uh, grounds right now. Uh, one of the things that um, my dad was talking to me about is that he would be okay if I started to buy. So again, sorry, uh, the shop I build questionable as far as whether it's going to survive and how long it's going to survive for. So uh, right now we uh, are kind of on. Uh, notice that uh, do not rely on it pretty much. So um, kind of the second time I've gotten burned on uh, maker spaces. So one of the things that I, uh, my dad has talked to me about is that he would be okay if I wanted to uh, do a pilot on my business here because he's scared that if I get into a location, you know, I'll get in financial trouble or whatever because I can't ramp up fast enough. So um, I'm going to keep working at Applied for right now for at least another five, six more months. Um, and then in the meantime, uh, set up kind of a shop, get some machines inside the garage. So uh, clean up the garage and get them to fit in certain places inside the garage. So a few of those machines, I'm looking at a mill, a laser cutter, a band, horizontal bandsaw, and uh, maybe a small lathe. So those are the machines that I'm looking at uh, getting for the garage. And it's going to sit on this table 
It's a 96 inch by 25 inch de uh, deep by 20 inch tall table. And all the machines to fit on those, all lightweight machines. So the first machine I'll probably get is the laser for the, uh, for the, um, the EcoBase 3D printer. And then the second machine will probably be like a mill and the third machine would be a lathe. So the mill is for the um, fill factory uh, and the uh, also the shredder and the lathe is for, I don't know if I really need the lathe, I'll have to think about that. So those are kind of the things that I'm looking at. So obviously those are the four products. Uh, I'm gonna be doing um, uh, Green Engineers part-time now. So uh, the other uh, thing is work part-time and the Green Engineers the other part-time. So those are the two. And then on the weekends, uh, getting the cars ready and stuff. Because basically what I'm gonna be doing is starting to make money on the business and putting the business in higher priority. But also at the same time, uh, on the weekends, I need to start getting ready to kind of close what I have here at the house and start getting ready to go on my own elsewhere. So hopefully by then, the six months, I have enough income to get a uh, warehouse and be operating out of the small warehouse at that point uh, and be able to uh, provide for myself at, at the warehouse and then somewhere to live and also to eat and insurance and all that kind of other stuff and travel to go to shows and things like that. So now I'm going to start start taking more of an active role in the community. Uh, you'll see me quite a bit on um, Precious Plastic website and other websites as well talking to people as well as here on YouTube. You'll be seeing way more updates way more often on YouTube. So uh, that is kind of the idea that uh, I'm looking at doing. So uh, right now I'm looking at financially what can I do with machines, uh, building custom machines that work best for me, or uh, buying some that I don't need uh, that that I don't need to uh, build. So um, we need to do that. Uh, and also get all the things that I owe you guys. And the other thing is clean up the garage so it starts to become functional. And it's definitely one of the things that I wanted to do for my parents before I start to move on to my own. All of this uh, within six months. So I want to close everything that I owe and start producing and making enough money that I can support myself through the green engineers within the next six months. Uh, to seven months, which would be a year. So right now we're at 51719. So we have about six and a half months until the end of the year. By then, I would like to be getting ready to move on to uh, you know possibly not being possibly not working for somebody else at applied and just be doing my business. So that's kind of the idea of where um, I would like to oh, you see I got a lot of spam going on here. anyways, um, that's kind of what I would like to do and also I would like to start maybe getting some more stuff here on the website as far as a forum is concerned or if I'm going to step away from the forum style and just go with like some sort of uh, wiki page or something. So we'll see. Um, we'll see what what's happening. So that's uh, kind of what I'm thinking right now at this point. Uh, I'm super excited that I graduated and super excited to put more stuff into the Green Engineers as uh, this is my passion. This is really what I want to, uh, really what, what I want to do and focus on green engineering stuff. I also joined as part of this uh, entrepreneur uh, group, um, and that's got me super pumped as well, and it's got me super motivated as far as what uh, what I'm doing. So, I've um, got the Shredder prototype here. I'd like to make a whole bunch of those. So I'm looking on uh, oh, another, another machine is I need an Arbor Press. So uh, trying to get this guy situated and go into production uh, with this guy is kind of uh, my goal and what I want to be doing here uh, in the new, near future. So uh, that's kind of uh, what we're talking about now. Um, I'm starting to design, looking at designing a mill uh, because I have a very strange uh, size constraint and I don't know if I could fit uh, another mill where I need to fit this, this mill. So um, we'll be looking into that. Uh, then between now and then, it's going to be uh, cleaning up the garage, getting ready to start manufacturing out of there, getting machines in there, starting to manufacture, take care of all my other things uh, around the house as far as starting to donate things I don't need, starting to, um, like I said, clean up the garage, starting to put together my project cars so those are ready to move. 
and uh, start to transition to the next point of my life, which I would like it to be uh, the Green Engineer Centered. So that's kind of uh, what I have going on. Um, uh, thanks again for you guys for being so patient and uh, to I would like you guys to join me on this journey to uh, going to this next section of my life, which is hopefully uh, focused around you guys and uh, also my hobbies, but mainly you guys. I mean, this is a big, this is my passion. I want to be in my, uh, my work as well as I, I find it as a hobby. Uh, I enjoy doing it, and I think even if I was making money and had to do it every day, I think I would enjoy it because I really love the R&D and I really love manufacturing. So uh, that is kind of the idea. So um, that is what we're going to be going forward with. Uh, if you guys, um, please, uh, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do so. Uh, I will see you guys on the Precious Plastics Forum and also uh, more here on YouTube. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.